everyone and welcome back. Today I want to take you on a tour of a little house that I built here. It's a tiny home. It's actually two bedrooms with a loft and a garage and it's built for a small family with a baby. Again, it has a loft in there. It has two bedrooms. You would be really surprised at what I fit in here and it does have that garage that is not attached to the home but I've built a little walkway there with some landscaping and we're just taking a look at the outside here. It does have a driveway with the nice lights at the end and I've just put some trees and some flowers around and made a little sidewalk there from the side door. But we're gonna go on in the inside here and take a look around and I took this tiny little space. Now if you haven't seen my tiny homes community video you may want to take a look at that. I'll try to link it in the description box below. But in this house, it's a little bit similar to one of those, but it, it is different. I've put the dining area behind the couch here, which in real life, a person could kind of scoot over and get in the chairs. The Sims can't necessarily use them like that, but this is just for looks mainly. And I just wanted to decorate it really pretty and use that red and black and white and gray color scheme. So we have a little TV area there, a coat rack on the wall. And again, that little dining area behind the couch there. And then we have the door tucked back in there that goes out to the garage. And I've used the new nightstands there as side tables and I love them. And then there's the new silver fireplace with two paintings, one on either side that brings out the red color in the wall there. We have the high chair for the baby and a nice little kitchen. And I even made an alcove for the refrigerator like I did in the manor house that I recently built. And it's just a cute little kitchen, but it's very functional. It has plenty of counter space, especially for a tiny home. And then I've put the staircase there behind the kitchen counters. So coming through this door, there's a little bathroom. It's a three-piece bath. In a tiny home, a lot of times you don't have room for a tub. I suppose there could have been room for a tub and shower combo, but I chose to just put the shower. And then coming through this doorway here, we have the laundry room where I have put the washer and dryer face to face and then put a laundry basket there and a garbage can. So next we're going to go back through the great room here and go out the side door and you can see where I've tucked the fridge in there. And we're going to take a look at the garage. You come around the sidewalk, you can walk into the service door there into the garage or you can come back here to this little patio area. And I recently noticed those chalet chairs go really well with the really old black and white uh, patio table, the umbrella table. So I combined those together. And you can see the garage here where the dad is hard at work, the baby's upstairs sleeping, and I guess the mom has the car out shopping. <laughs> really, I haven't put a car on the property yet, but we'll just imagine that that's the case. So coming back into the house here, we're going to go upstairs and take a look. And as soon as you come up the staircase, you'll notice it is a loft. I love doing these little lofts here. And we have a stereo over there in the corner. We have a beautiful dresser with bookshelves on either side, a farmhouse painting, and one of the new black and white sinks. And I love the view as you look over the balcony into the great room there, where you can look straight out to the front yard, through all the windows, over the balcony, and then I've put the urban bed here with a flower arrangement and some perfume. And then we have a little alcove there for the alarm clock and picture and a lamp and another flower arrangement. So that is the parents' loft area bedroom there. I really love how it turned out. And you can see I use that social light wallpaper. I think it works great with the burgundy down below. And then we're going to go into the nursery next. You go through this little door here and it is the cutest little nursery. Yes, it's very small. Obviously it's a tiny home, but I've noticed that the old antique looking crib looks really nice with that new changing table that we just got from phase one of the uh, pregnancy. It's not really an update, but it's a new set that you can get and unlock. And you can see I put the garbage can there. You can imagine that's a diaper pail for the nursery. And I have to say, I'm really loving the new mobile that goes over the cribs. I think it's so pretty. I would love to have had this in real life. I just think it looks so gorgeous. I love the colors on it. And the only thing is 
we're not getting a lot of things for boys. If you notice, even with the garage update, the new toddler bed is a girl's bed. And now these new nursery items so far look to be for girls. Kind of disappointed in that, but you know, can't really do anything about it. So let's take a look at the furniture placement here. This will go really quick because the house is so small, but you can see how I've placed everything in the living area. And then we have that tiny little kitchen with the high chair and the recessed fridge. And then we have the laundry area here. And then we have the little bathroom. And then upstairs, we go to the loft here where I've put the bed and nightstands and the alcove for the uh, alarm clock and lamp. And then we had the balcony area and the bookshelves and dresser there and the stereo. And now we have the nursery here and then we're going to look at the grid real quick. Very simple build if you want to take screenshots or just slow it down. Very, very easy build. So you just build the main room there, then you build on the bathroom and laundry room. You can put the little nook there for the fridge. The garage is very simple, obviously. And then when you come upstairs, the loft takes up almost half, actually it's a little over half, of that main room down below and then there's the area that was over top of the fridge and then we had the nursery there so i really appreciate you guys watching this i hope you like these little builds that i kind of tuck in between request builds sometimes i like to just sit down with my own ideas and build my own things as much as i love fulfilling your requests sometimes i just like to do this so i hope you guys enjoy these builds as much as you do the requests and speaking of them, I know I keep mentioning this, but I want to let you know, I'm still getting a lot of requests every day and the list is getting longer and longer, but please know, and if you can tell just by scrolling down my channel, I do them almost every day. So if your name is on the list, if your request is on there, it will get built, I promise. Thanks again, everyone. Take care and I'll see you next time.